it is a monumental night tonight. Vice President Kamala Harris is taking the debate stage against former President Donald Trump. And her short campaign has been called high on vibes and a little light on policy. But she is going to be questioned pretty heavily on that policy tonight. And she has been on record changing her positions on a host of issues like fracking, like the border, even things like banning plastic straws. So how does she defend these shifts? Look, on one level, I understand it, right? A lot of the positions that she took that you just outlined, she took in 2019, and she did so as a California senator, one, but more importantly, as a presidential candidate for the Democratic nomination. If you think back to that time, there was a thinking that a slightly more electable Bernie Sanders was who was going to wind up winning. Um, and I think she was trying to position herself to be that person. Now, obviously, we had COVID and Joe Biden wound up winning. And, you know, it, things went sideways in that regard. But she took a lot of those positions, I think, because she wanted to appeal to the liberals within the Democratic Party. The problem for her now is she doesn't have to win a primary. <laughs> She's the general election nominee. And in a general election, some of these positions are, frankly, not particularly sellable. And so I think she's moving, she has moved for political reasons. The problem, Brittany, from a, from a pure sort of raw politics perspective is that's not a great way to explain your evolving positions to the public. Well, I did it because I was trying to do one thing then and I'm trying to do a different thing now. You need some way of explaining it. I haven't really seen her do that. In the CNN interview, she said, my values haven't changed. That was her kind of response to it. But I don't know, I didn't, I didn't find that terribly convincing. If you didn't find that terribly convincing, what could convince you and voters tonight? Because one of the issues that she seemed to have shifted the most on is immigration. A CNN mm -hmm. investigation found that in 2019, in an ACLU survey, she supported measures like drastically slashing ICE funding, ending ICE detainers, and providing taxpayer-funded gender transition surgeries to de uh, detained migrants. And then in a CNN interview last month with Dana Bash, she said this about immigration, quote, we have laws that have to be followed and enforced that address and deal with people who cross our border illegally and there should be consequences. The mm -hmm. immigration, border security are top issues facing voters. So when she's confronted with this tonight, this topic, how should she defend where she stands now opposed to where she stood then? So I think the smartest thing to do, politically speaking, is say, look, I've had uh, a lot of experience with this issue over the three and a half or whatever years that I've been vice president. Um, We've tried some things, some things haven't worked, uh, some things have worked better. I wanna lean into enforcement because I think that's a place where it works. And I think she should take the, this, immigration to me is a perfect issue for her to say, you know what, I was Joe Biden's vice president and I followed the policies that he outlined, but I'm running in my own right now. And on immigration, I'm a little bit more conservative than Joe Biden. I think we should do X, Y, and Z. Now that would serve two purposes, one, it would distance herself from Biden, which I think is important because Joe Biden is still unpopular, right? You still have large numbers of people do not approve of the job he's done, particularly on immigration and the economy. So that's one. Number two, it would give some logic to why her position has changed so drastically on immigration in five years. Um, I think people are open to the idea that as I got more information, as I observed what was working and wasn't working, I've evolved. I think you can sell that better than just, well, I said one thing back in the day because I wanted to be more liberal and now I want to be more moderate. 